Hi, this is Steve Lynch from the group Autograph. Remember, turn up the radio and all that kind of good stuff. You are watching the Concert Cruiser. <laughs> Stay tuned. Nation. You know what? We're going to do something a little bit different here. I'm actually a bit new to this gentleman's band, so we're going. To, so he's going to educate me, some guy who has not heard his sound, describe his style. So what can you tell me about your band? Well, um, we had a big a couple of hits, but our biggest hit has always been Turn Up the Radio, mm -hmm. and uh, so that was back in 1984. Okay. We, uh, we did three albums with RCA, mm -hmm. and it did very well. And, mm -hmm. uh, you can check out a bunch of the videos on YouTube. We got new videos out too. Really? Yeah. So now, where does the name Autograph come from? Well, it was actually because we had kind of a signature sound, and we were opening up for Van Halen in 1984, and we didn't have a name for the band yet. It was just that you know David Lee Roth was jogging with our drummer Kenny Richards at mm -hmm. the time, and um, he said, "So what are you what are you doing, Kenny?" He says, "Well, I'm jamming with these new guys. They're really good, you know." And and uh, he said, well, have you got anything to play for me? So he played him a demo, and David Lee Roth loved it. And he said, you guys want to open up a force on the 1984 tour? And, you know, but all of us, I was like in a, in, on Dreamland Records playing with this girl, Holly Penfield, and so was the keyboard player mm -hmm. in the band. And then Randy Rand, our bass player, was playing with Lita Ford. And um, then uh, the singer was playing in a group called Silver Condor mm -hmm. on uh, Columbia Records. And... Uh, the drummer was in a group called The Coup on A&M Records. Mm -hmm. And so, anyway, we were all kind of tied up with, we all had record deals, you know, <laughs> and so, so, but we thought, you know what, we can go out for a few months, let's just sneak out and do this, you know. <laughs> and so it was actually when we were driving from Los Angeles to the first gig mm -hmm. in Jacksonville, Florida. So we took oh the 10, God. yeah, so we took the uh, Interstate 10 all the way across, and uh, it was like when we, we had to think of the name on the way, you know, because <laughs> What's going to go up on the marquee? You yeah. know, so. And so uh, we did it, and and that led to us getting a record deal. So we had to quit us, quit all the other bands. Oh my god! Yeah. So. Sounds like one interesting story. Yeah, it was great. It was great. Now, what have been some of your best accomplishments with Autograph? Uh, just the touring that we did. We did, uh, you know, like uh, the, the, as far as touring went, it was Van Halen first, and then we went out with Hart. We went out with Aerosmith. We went out with. Um, uh, Motley Crue, we went out with, did some shows with White Snake and ZZ Top and uh, Ronnie James Dio, mm -hmm. and so just you know lightweight people, you know like mm -hmm. that. And so we just we just toured and toured for like six years. We were touring, and uh, then you know the album, uh, we did three albums with RCA and, mm -hmm. and uh, ended up selling, you know, quite a bit. You know, went over five million, and um, so. It did well. I'm still collecting off of that. And, <laughs> and uh, but we're in a lot of, um, we did a lot of soundtracks on movies back in the 80s movies and stuff. So, mm. and um, we also did uh, some television stuff like Miami Vice and all that. Got a few songs in that. And um, then, uh, you know, we just, we just kept at it. And next thing you know, it's 1989 and the 80s are over. <laughs> and that's why I left the group. <laughs> But uh, Autograph, Autograph does still have a dedicated fan base, though. The oh, God, yeah, yeah. We, when we went out, we started up again five years ago. Mm -hmm. And when we first went out, it was just amazing how many people came out to see us. I, it was a 22-year hiatus. Oh, my God. Yeah. So that's that's a long time. So, But it worked out, it worked out great. Now, was it a bit of a, a shock coming back to Autograph and also just, you know, how much the music industry has changed since oh, then? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we signed a deal with uh, EMP label group, who's basically, you know, behind this whole thing here. And, um, but yeah, it's really changed. Of course, there was no social media back then. And so it was it was quite, quite a change. And, you know, in fact, uh, on our first album, that was when, it was after that that CDs came out. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's how far back it goes. It was just cassette tapes back then, you know. I miss CDs, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, it's like all that's disappearing, yeah, so. 
Yeah, people will never, uh, kids today will never understand the joy of getting a CD and ripping out that plastic, unfolding that booklet, and that shiny new disc. Yes, that's right, and putting it in there and going, wow, this sounds great, you know. <laughs> but now, you know, as you as you know, the uh, vinyl's coming back big time. Yeah, I was actually kind of wondering how that even happened. Yeah, I mean, I don't even have a turntable anymore, so. <laughs> it's been years since I've had one, so. But they just, it sounds warmer. It does. The analog sound is in the vinyl. There's no doubt about that. It does sound better. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for your time, sir. I'm going, now I got to check you guys out. And I recently have. Steve Lynch is an immensely talented guitar player. He has his two-handed tap solo called Hammerhead. That's incredible. I also checked out Turn Up the Radio. It's a musical anthem about just rocking out some music. It's a song that I think would do better live. And after checking out the rest of their catalog, it's no wonder they have such a dedicated following after all this time. So check them out. You won't regret it. Links are in the description. It was a pleasure getting to interview this man. I'm curious to hear autograph. And until next time, Nation, I'll see you backstage. <laughs>